Hello everyone. Today, um, I and my group member will explain about the dynamic example part two, which is the explain the solution of the question. So we will do the question of number two and number ten. About number two, we will discuss about the solution of the IC of zero velocity at bar BD. And question ten. We will discuss about the radius of the gyration of the dumbbell at, at the rotation axis. Thank you. Hello everyone. Today I would like to show the solutions of the this type of dynamic questions so the first thing is to read through the questions carefully and look after the information given uh, so it's given angular velocity of ab equals to 6 radian per second and the parts are asked to sketch the locations of instantaneous center of zero velocity of bar bd uh, the corrections there is I think it's bar BC because I didn't see any bar BD there. So the next one is compute the velocity of the slider block C at this instance. So we can try this. Let's go. So before we move on to the calculations part, we need to draw out the free body diagram. So the free body diagram is quite simple. First, we draw out the A point. Here's the B, B point, and here's a block C. So write down every information given. So it's given information angular velocity of AB is equal to 6 radian per second. Here also 0 0.2 and here also 0 0.5 and so that's all. So after free body diagram I would like to move on to the AE part which is sketch the instantaneous zero velocity of bar BC. So the procedure is quite simple and just like you draw back free body diagram. First of all you need to draw back every point and write back every information given 45 from point C is 10 degree here's 0 0.2 and 0 0.5 and so the next step how you do it is from point C you draw a vertical line it's 90 degree from point B you draw a straight slanting line until you meet the end of the vertical line from point C straight slanting line here 90 degree so we name it this point as IC so from here we refer to the point A is 45 degree here also 45 look through the 90 degree from point C here we know that here is 10 degree and here is 80 degree and triangular theorem from here we know that it is 55 degree too so that's it Um, okay, now after doing the part A, we can do the part B, is compute the velocity of the block C. Refer back to the part A of the diagram, we can use the triangular formula doing step by step. Uh, first of all, is BC divided by sine 45 degree equal to ACC. And equal to ICB. So we need to find is the radial distance of the point C to IC and point B to the IC. So using the give, given information, BC we know is 0 0.5 divided by sine 45 degree equal to ICC divided by sine 65 degree. So we can get the answer ICC is. 
zero point five seven nine two. So the next one is after we getting this value, also we can guess this value. So divide by sine eighty degree using the answer just now. Divide by sine fifty five degree. So the answer we can get is zero point six nine six three. So we're not done here yet, and up next we using the velocity formula. First of all, we find the velocity of VB, the angular velocity of AB times with RB RC. So the questions given the information is the angular velocity is six radian per second times with answer just now 0 0.6963 the answer is 4.1778 meter per second so the question is asking the velocity of c so we are not done here yet we need to find the angular velocity of bc since we don't know the value of angular velocity of bc I see. So how we get the angular velocity of BC using the information of the VB equal to VB over 0.5. So the answer is 4.1778 by 0 0.5 equals to 8.36 radian per second all right so substitute back to the velocity formula 8.36 radian per second times with 0 0.5792 so the final answer is 4.8421 meter per second so that's it we solve the questions hello everyone today i would like to show the solutions of Hi, I will be uh, explaining about the answers and the steps for the question 10. So we will start at the free body diagram first. We will draw the distance between the man with the dumbbell. We have two dumbbells there. The... Oh, sorry. The angular velocity for the man and the rotation axis. Next, we will be writing about the formula for the question 10 iz equals to ig plus md square. Square, okay. iz is the moment of inertia. And IG equals to MKZ square. KZ square. KZ square is the radius of gyration. We assume the position to the left is the positive. And IZ equals to MKZ square plus MD square. The M, this M equals to the mass of the man. And this M is equal to the mass of the dumbbell. So we start with finding the moment of inertia for the question. Ix1 equals to mkz squared plus 2md squared. 
This M is for the man and this M is for the dumbbell. Since the dumbbell we have two, that's why we have need to get MD square into two MD square. And we will start it by dividing the mass of the man by 9.81 times 0 0.17 square the radius of gyration plus 2 times 25 newton hi i will be uh, explaining about the answers and the steps for the question 10 so we will start at the free body diagram first we will draw the distance between the man with the dumbbell we have two dumbbells there the oh sorry the angular velocity for the man and the rotation axis next we will be Writing about the formula for the question 10 iz equals to ig plus md square square okay iz is the moment of inertia and ig equals to mkz square kz square kz square is the radius of gyration we assume the position to the left is the positive and iz equals to mkz square plus md square the m this m equals to the mass of the man and this m is equal to the mass of the dumbbell so we start with finding the moment of inertia for the question Ix1 equals to mkz square plus 2md square. This m is for the man and this m is for the dumbbell. Since the dumbbell we have 2, that's why we have need to get md square into 2md square. And we will start it by dividing the mass of the man by 9.81 times 0 0.17 square the radius of gyration plus 2